All right, what's going on guys? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Salute, throw me some love on the channel. And let's talk about this. This is not the first time I've attempted to talk about this subject because um, I've actually created videos about this topic before, only to be uh, taken down, stricken down, or the original videos that I reviewed, you know, as to give, you know, some type of proof, uh, you know, when it comes to, you know, altercations that happen here, which are very rare and few and far between. And they typically occur in the big party towns like Pattaya or Phuket, especially. Now, when it comes to here in Chiang Mai, I haven't personally seen uh, an altercation. I've had a few disputes with people and it's, it's just gonna happen. And I've talked about this before that you need to walk away. One of the dumbest things you can do here as a foreigner, as an expat traveling to Thailand, is to f get into a fight. To get into a fight with, with, with especially a local person. Man, if you, you don't have any idea. You get into a fight with a local person and you, you, you might be justified. You might feel like, hey, you stand on like solid principles. Maybe you were done wrong, maybe done dirty. Maybe they instigated it with you. The thing is, is you've got to be the bigger person and walk the fuck away. You cannot come here and get into a physical altercation with the people here. You can't be tawny and, and say, and bring it on. Maybe you're twice the size of the person you think you're fighting. But before you know it, you got 30 people on your ass, man. I'm telling you, man, people uh, band together when it comes to this. Like, if there's any type of altercation, uh, like in the street, where, you know, in public view, um, you're going to have the whole fucking city rushing in. And guess what? You don't speak the language, and they're not going to side with you. You're just a drunk tourist by default. It doesn't matter how non-drunk you are, because you don't speak the language. And guess what? When the authorities are called, which they will be, they don't care about the damn language either. They don't care about your your, your reasoning, your rational uh, thinking behind that or whatever. Like, you are literally going to lose. Not to mention, you will get your ass kicked. Because I'm going to tell you something. Um, Thai people can fight, too. Oh, yeah. I don't give a damn, I mean, I'm gonna tell you something, but like, it's a huge part of the culture here, fighting, like Muay Thai especially, kickboxing, and this isn't just for men, man, the women do this, too. man, the women can fight here too, man, there's a Muay Thai boxing ring, literally, one block uh, from where I'm staying right now, and they, they open up the doors every day, and you could just walk down the street and just watch the people in the ring, and some of these women, <laughs> I'm just being dead honest, dude, some of these chicks can fight too. There's chicks that take this, and this isn't just like fillets. Man, I'm telling you, it's it's part of the culture here. People don't want to fight. They don't want to be aggressive, but they're not gonna back down. They are not gonna sit there and be pushed around, and they're not gonna like, like take your bullshit. They are gonna fight back, and they're not just gonna fight back alone sometimes. They're gonna fight back with multiple people. And I'm not saying that multiple people are gonna jump and beat the crap out of you. That's possible. But these people have been living here their entire lives. They have connections, they have friends. And when the police show up or the authorities show up, you're gonna be the, it's gonna be your word against all of their. It's not gonna be you, you like one-on-one. -on -one. It's gonna be all of them telling the police how you were wrong. And the truth is, is maybe you weren't, but in the end, when you look back in hindsight, you were wrong because you should have walked away. You should never escalate. You should never like sit here and, 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 and like, not, I'm not saying if you were attacked, if you were physically assaulted or attacked, that's a different story. There's uh, CCTV in a lot of places here, but you're gonna go through a lengthy thing. And the odds are is like, you can just kind of tamp down that, that where, you know, where the heat is being turned up in that situation or that scenario. You can turn it down by just being more passive or get up and leave pay your bill, even if they're wrong, pay your bill and live to fight another day. This is one of the dumbest things you can do here, man. People will come here and literally get their lives ruined. Like, let's just say for me, for example, living here in this town, and I've talked about it length. Chiang Mai is the second biggest city in Thailand. It's a, it's a big city, one and a half million people, but it's a very small city. 
uh, small town feel. People know each other. Everyone's hello. Everyone knows everyone. Um, it's not like a like a a whole like a like a this gossip thing, but it's still you get that bad reputation, you'll never be able to live here again. You know, if you have a major massive altercation with, with, with someone here, you, you might be pissing off somebody that's friends or has families with connections. And this isn't about like a threat. This is about your ability to form friendships and, and, and you know, and to feel comfortable and to integrate into where you live. Now, people coming on vacation, like that's a that's a big mistake too. Like both instances, whether you live long time or you come on like holiday or whatever, they're both negative, like negatively like equal and how disastrous they could be for you. Like no one wants to go to jail here, man. You don't understand the legal system does not work the way it does in America or in the West. Man, you, you damn sure don't have rights. You have the privilege to be here. And you have to understand how important this is because if, if, if you you have a, like a falling out man they will snatch your passport you won't have any rights the, the consulates and the embassies are not going to have your back especially if you were drinking and you got involved in some stuff like this so you are going to lose on so many levels do not do this do not fight do not get into a physical altercation with anyone unless you're like saving someone's life. You know, like the only time I'm, I'm not gonna advocate for this would be like if you see a Thai person get attacked by somebody and you help defend that Thai person. That's the only time I would say that maybe you have a chance. And I'm not even advocating that because truth be told, no one's going to understand. No one's going to be able to explain this. And guess what? These people are not going to show up to court and defend you. They might, but you still, you don't have the upper hand. You are the underdog in that situation. And I'm telling you, you don't have the rights and privileges that you think you do. You are not innocent until proven guilty. And this doesn't mean that you have to walk around in terror and fear. This is the safest country I've ever been to. Like, listen to me. Thailand is so safe that when like people go to the bathroom when I go to the bathroom people leave their shit sitting at the table They leave their phones. They leave their bags. They leave their their wallet in their bags their passports And it, I've never had a problem with the exception of one time. I talked about someone took my iPhone that was drinking too much and I'm, I'm convinced that the guy was just dumb and drunk drunk too much and assumed it was his phone But other than that, I, you know, I could be wrong, but that was one instance out of all the times that I've been here. This is not just what I do. This is what people do. People literally don't have to worry about their shit being stolen. People literally don't have to work, like worry about vandalism. It's a very safe country. With that said, you have to understand that you have to de-escalate the potential of violence. You cannot go out here and just like willy nilly, well, I gotta be a man and this and that, man. You are gonna land your ass in jail you are going to lose and this is one of the stupidest things you can do because let's just say they decide to drug test you when they take you to jail which they can legally do here they can legally just walk into a bar and there's been many stories of this happening where they'll do a police raid on a bar checking people's passports and checking their visas and they can literally drug test you and just search you without reasonable cause that it doesn't work the same way as it does in the West. And if you are found to be in possession of something or something in your system, you can have that factored like, like, in, like in favor against your ass when it comes down to this. You have to understand, you, you, you are walking, like you're not walking on thin ice, but when you start to like drink too much, you start to like be combative, confrontational, and think that you can go around flexing your shit not only will you get your ass whooped, not only will you get your ass jumped, you're gonna be the one, the sucker that goes to jail. You're gonna have your visa and your passport revoked possibly. You're gonna cause a national imbalance, like a, like a, not an imbalance, but like a clash of conflict between your country that you come from and this country. And I'm telling you, this is a bad thing and it looks horrible on the rest of us. When these situations happen, it looks awful uh, when it comes to the other tourists. The, the vast majority of people who come here and don't.
partake like partake in this type of stuff. So do not come here and get into an altercation with somebody local, somebody like especially a Thai person, because you're gonna lose. This is one of the dumbest things your ass can do. I promise you. I love y'all. Throw me some love and I'm out.